With some interesting uh, competition here uh, involved, Amnerus, one of the leading contenders, driven by John Campbell, but trained by Jan Nordin. The Nordin family, best known for being involved with trotters. Well, they do have a couple of pacers as well. One of them, an outstanding filly named Amnerus. Here's Kenny Rice with a look at the Nordines. They are a team, Soren and Jan, father and son, respected for their training methods, synonymous with racing in Sweden, and immediately gaining prominence in the United States when they arrived in 1981. They have gotten results, training Tarport Frenzy, Baltic Speed, and Sandy Bolt. The thing is that the grand circuit uh, we have here in, in the States is superior from, from uh, what if we uh, uh, compare with Europe. There's a lot of money to be made and uh, when, uh, there are only two short seasons for, for uh, the two and three year olds in this country. And during that time they need to accomplish a lot of things. But they also gain a lot of things because if they get good uh, they might have a good chance to get syndicated for a lot of money that uh, can never be beaten in Europe. Team Nordin came to the States for the challenge and the opportunity. They are specialists in making sure the horses are correctly balanced, even if that means a different shoe on each hook. They work their horses hard early in the season, and often their horses turn in fast times. But they also like to have their horses comfortable with the racetrack, and often they will train them away from the track, showing up only on race day. Team Nordin has started training pacers. They currently have three, including M. Nuris. She holds the freshman Philly pacing record of 153-1. Many in the industry feel Team Nordine would be successful training trotters, pacers, or even runners because of their instincts. Well, interestingly, Jan Nordine chose not to drive his filly in this race. He's driving one of his, uh, his trotters in another race, but in acquiring John Campbell, he certainly didn't lose any skill on the bike by uh, going for an outside driver there. Well, we're seeing the finest harness race drivers in history right here with O'Donnell and McNichol.